Hi, hey, good morning, hello. It's almost 10, it's 10 o'clock on the dot. I got up about 9.30. Um, I stayed up pretty late last night. I look rough, it's fine. I stayed up late until like 3.30 last night. I'm going to take you guys on a day in my life. As a, what am I? I'm an author. I'm also a manuscript critiquer. I'm a YouTube video editor. Of my own stuff, not of others. I don't do it. This is just mine. We have a full jam-packed schedule, so I have to edit my video that goes up at noon, so I have two hours. Um, and I also have client work to do. Um, it's going to be a pretty lengthy reading session today um, because I didn't do anything yesterday, which was Thanksgiving. So it's going to be a pretty hefty reading session today, which I'm totally fine with. All I got to do is find a comfy spot and read. So that's what I will be doing. Let's go. First up, we are going to edit the YouTube video. So I have, I think it's these clips. So we don't have that many clips. So hopefully I am talking in at least two of these and the rest of them can be time lapses, but yes, let's go. Also have my coffee because hello, must. The cool thing is, is that editing videos doesn't take me that long. Um, I think for, it's a different for a lot of people. It is something that doesn't take me a long time. So it's something I can do in an hour, probably, I would say. Just woke up for an app. Just woke up for an app. Okay, so video is edited. It's 1040. I just need to make a thumbnail and then begin uploading it to the ins not Instagram, what the heck, to YouTube. Um, I also have to answer an email. Let's look and see how our Black Friday sale is doing. So we have seven orders. How many inventory do we have left? Uh, only one left if you can't catch a rat, that's awesome. Two left of Water Friends 4, three left of Out of My League, four left of Two Kinds of Us, three left of Christmas as we know it. That's awesome, especially for the can't catch a rat one because I haven't had that in stock in a very long time. So anybody who's been waiting for it, it's the perfect opportunity. My dog is barking at something, I must go check. Bro. Hey, outside? I don't see anything. Oh, squirrel. You can't go out. A squirrel could totally take you. The squirrel would own you. Also, Maya ran away yesterday. On Thanksgiving, she got out of the gate and she went down the street. Weirdly enough, she found my cousin who was out walking and the lighting is, and she followed him around, which was great. But like, hello, heart attack on a holiday. <laughs> that sounds like a book title. <laughs> Well, don't you look like a princess on my unmade bed. It's fine. You're so cute. Okay, perfect. So video is edited. I am going to go put my contacts in and I don't know, get dressed, feel a little bit more like a human being. And then we're going to start our client work. The video is uploading. It is 1048. So it only took me 48 minutes to edit, which is pretty great to be honest. Um, it is a 15 minute long video, almost 16 minutes. Um, the clips weren't really that hard. It was just me talking about my work in progress. Um, so that was really easy to edit. But now we're gonna, I need to get a little bit, maybe clean up my room a little bit more, get my space in a more productive way and then get to work. I think that sounds like a good idea. Let's get the contacts in. So I forgot I had clothes downstairs that I need to put in my clothes and put my dresser. But for right now, I don't think I'm going to worry about that. I think I'm just going to worry about this right here. It's all clean clothes because I just could not decide what I wanted to wear um, yesterday to Thanksgiving. So I would take clothes off and just drop them on the ground, you know, like you do. It all needs to be put back on hangers and uh, put away. So I think that's what I'm going to work on first and then... We'll find a spot to start our client work. Okay, 
Okay, so we got this mess cleaned up. This looks trashy, but it's just candles and paper, so it's fine. Bed has also made as much as I could around this dog. Also, I had a sale on my signed copies today. Obviously, it's Black Friday, so I do a Black Friday sale every year. My sale has been live for, I, I posted about it about an hour and 20 minutes ago. And all 25 books are now sold out. That's only half of the stock I have. But a part of me is like, do I order more stock on Instagram? Hang on. And then, uh, like, ship it delayed? Do I just leave it? Whoever got it, got it. That's it. I don't know. Like, a part of me really wants to restock them so everybody can get what they want. Then part of me is like, okay, it's a Black Friday sale for a reason. Ah, ah. I can't believe they're all sold out, though. All five books that I had discounted, five copies each, all gone. Y'all are crazy. I love you to pieces. But, like, I posted about it, like, in my YouTube video. I said, hey, I got signed copies on sale. And the YouTube video isn't even live yet, and they're all gone. Oh, no. Also, it's 11.22. I don't know what to do next. I gotta figure it out. Ah. I don't know what to do. I ended up just adding more stock because I figured I could just buy from Amazon. Yes, the shipping will be delayed, but then people on YouTube have a chance to actually shop the sale. Um, I actually thought about turning off, like, tracking inventory, um, and then people can just buy, buy, buy until, ooh, we need to fix it, the room fits is pricing. Until Black Friday is over, I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, if these ones sell out fast too, then we will go back and we will do that as well. We will change it to like not tracking the pricing, but pricing inventory. With that, now it's time to get reading. It's 11.30. Also forgot I have to reply to my an email to my cover designer about my narrator for the audiobook cover and then we can approve the audiobook and then it'll be live or it'll take time to go through the ACX system and then it will be live. So I've been going at it for about an hour. I need to stand up and stretch. My butt is killing me. That's the problem with this chair. I can't sit in it for a long period of time. So I'm probably going to have to move to my bed anyway. I don't know. I don't want to, but it's just not comfy anymore. So we're going to stretch. We're going to walk around and then we'll come back for another hour. Hello. Okay, I don't think I uh. buy now. Okay. Hi guys. Take two. It's 6.58 right now. I woke up from my nap around like 6.30. I went to lay down probably 4.30, closer to 5. And we have the rest of the night ahead of us. I just looked. And all of the books are sold out except for... Hello. Except for one copy left of Christmas as we know it, If the Room Fits, and What Are Friends For. So that sounds crazy. It's crazy. I gotta count how many books that was sold. I'm pretty sure total it was um, 70, 71. And then once we finish selling If the Room Fits and What Are Friends For, and Christmas as we know it, it'll be 74. But I gotta go through and figure out how many books, like for each book that is, because I gotta order the stock that I do not have. And I definitely don't have 70 books on hand. Um, I only have 25. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. It's going to be a pretty big package, but we love big packages. Except I don't know what shipping is going to be from Amazon. I will say this kind of just breaks even, like very, very barely. Um, so when I combine like stickers and everything. I think, so it's $5 per paperback, but then like $3 for shipping, um, $3.89 for shipping, depending on where you are, if there's tax too. Um, so like, let's say it's $9 per order. I get like, you know, it's, I get like cents maybe. It's not a whole lot because if you think about it, it costs me about $4 to pay for the book from Amazon and then the shipping it's $3.89 that I don't, I don't get any of the shipping. I just like doing the sale every year because I like people like getting a chance to get my books for really cheap and because I know they love them enough. They want to get them for cheap, you know, get them for their family members and stuff. So I don't make hardly anything on this, but it's still so much fun. So that's me. My work day is not over yet. We still have some writing to do, even though it is um seven o'clock. I just had a cup of coffee. I took it to the kitchen, so I can't even show it off to you, but I did drink it. It was delicious. And now 
we're gonna probably count the books or should I wait until the very end of the night? I want to order the books before I go to bed tonight, so. I also did not check out for Image Apothecary yesterday, so we need to do that. I have 11 things in my cart. I have one entire collection and then everything else kind of like um, miscellaneous. It's gonna go into my miscellaneous folder on my Pick Monkey. I gotta check out before I lose my deals. It's $92. Oh, it's fine. It's a business expense. So I just went through and did all the math of like how many books I need to buy. I need to buy 11 copies of Water Friends 4. I need to buy 7 copies of Out of My League. 7 copies of Get the Room Fits. 9 copies of Can't Catch My Breath. 6 copies of Two Kinds of Us. 9 copies as of For Christmas As We Know It. And then people did also add the new books to their like list. So I have to also buy two copies of Dreaming About the Boy Next Door. Let's go on to Amazon and order some more author copies. Sleeping dog. I also did a face mask. This is my very first face mask in a very long time. And it feels so nice. Oh. So it's 1.10. I am on page 177. I have no idea where I started today. Um, we are at 66,000 words into the manuscript, so that's really great. I got to the scene where something's going to happen, and it's going to require some editing to like make it flow better. But I think something needs to happen before this scene that is written. But I don't know what it is. I know what it could be. So there are two scenes there's a scene in teaching teacher's pet and a scene from dreaming about the boy next door that have crossover okay that i mean like they're not cro mm, how do i explain this i guess i could just say the scenes in the, each book so in teaching teacher's pet on a certain wednesday Maisie and connor are in this closet tutoring together okay and on the same Wednesday in Dreaming About the Boy Next Door, what is her name? Ava and Josh um, go to the library together. So it's that same Wednesday. So I was thinking about adding a scene in Rebelling with the Bad Boy about that same Wednesday. Like, so my character, Gemma, kind of could see either one of them. But I don't know if that's what I want to do or if I should do something else. Like, I feel like it kind of would only serve the purpose as, like, a fun Easter egg, like sneak peek which also makes me feel like that's how i know it's not worth it because if it doesn't like have a purpose like a true purpose to the plot if it doesn't propel the pop the plot forward maybe it's not a good scene to add but then i'm like okay i know my readers would love it so i'm trying to think if there's a way that i can make it an important scene while still i might have just thought of it i might have we're gonna think on it some more but this was the end of a work day in my life. Like I said, it's 1.10 in the morning. I am tired. We did get pretty far. We finished a client work today. We got some reading in. Um, we had a Black Friday sale, which was really fun. We sold 74 copies, so that's incredible. I ordered, like I said, I ordered the copies from Amazon. So those should be coming in December, early December, hopefully. Hopefully shipping is not delayed, but so I'm going to sign off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these kind of work days in my life, please hit that thumbs up button and comment down below. I will talk to you guys next time in the next video. I love you all so much. Have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or night, and goodbye.